This is Raptor News. The president announcing habeas corpus, meaning that he is getting ready to detain people and take their rights away from them. The constitution is no longer in effect. That's what habeas corpus is going to do. Take all of your rights away from you where they can just come in and lock you up for whatever reason they want to. Also, they're sending in the National Guard. They, they, they're already arriving. The tanks are arriving. And what else? You have FEMA coffins arriving everywhere. People is taking pictures of uh, trucks bringing in FEMA coffins by the droves. They know something you don't know. And then, just like I said, you got a matter of time before you can put it all together and get it and prepare or it's, it, you're going to go down with the show. Let's get into it. We need to get this truck. He's going to come up right now. Put on the recording. It's recording right now. It's recording right now. Oh, you got to let me know that. <laughs> you can't just start recording. <laughs> it's okay. All right, so I'm trying to slow down to this truck. We came up by it. And I was like, are those FEMA coffins? And my wife just saw, look, 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 right there. They are FEMA coffins. Burial vaults. They're burial vaults. Wow. Burial vaults. Get a look at the FEMA coffins. Look. Look I, at them. They're right there. That's it. I don't know where they're shipping them. But look, just so you know, we're not playing no games. We are look not at the playing side games. Of the truck. Look at the side of the truck. It says... Burial vaults. No games. Look at that. Going to, they're from Indiana. Alright. I'm taking back off. Hey. We just saw it. it ain't no joke. Shalom, man. Man, this shit ain't about no motherfucking coronavirus, man. Y'all know what time it is. Talking about a motherfucking coronavirus. Anytime this shit right here get to pass through my hood and shit, man, it finna go down. Trump getting ready. Light some shit up. Shit real, babe. This shit real. New York, California, and Washington ensure that the National Guard can effectively respond to this crisis and uh, it's been activated and through fema the federal government will be funding 100 percent of the cost of deploying national guard units to carry out approved missions this action will give them maximum flexibility to use the guard against the people and without having to worry about costs or liability to use the guard against the people and without having to worry about costs or liability to use the guard against the people and without having to worry about costs or liability we appreciate all of the people here and it's an honor to be with all of you. You're doing a fantastic job, by the way. And so now we're, uh, as of yesterday, when we, when we gave the order, uh, FEMA is totally involved in addition to everybody else. And uh, a lot of progress is being made, so I look forward to speaking to the governors. And from what I understand, we have uh, pretty close to 50 of the governors and some territories on, and we have a lot of, just about everybody showed up. So that's uh, very nice, and we will, uh, Put them on the screen as soon as you want. And now it's our time. We must sacrifice together because we are all in this together and we'll come through together. It's the invisible enemy. That's always the toughest enemy, the invisible enemy. But we're going to defeat the invisible enemy. I think we're going to do it even faster than we thought. And it will be a complete victory. It'll be a total victory. Uh, so we'll have a second conference Again, having to do with the FDA and this, I think it's going to be potentially a very exciting uh, news conference, uh, and we will do it as quickly as we can. So whether it's today or tomorrow, 